Good morning. We are waiting to go to church. We're ready. We're dressed. I have one reading, one doing Rubik's Cubes, and another one reading. And then my mom is playing guitar in the music room. So. Gabriel got part of his audition done um, and the clip right before this is you know that moment where uh, I forgot to start the music that he's supposed to be singing with so <laughs> oops um, Ethan and Julian got haircuts and Julian is taking a shower and then after he's done with that, we're going to try to do some recording of the Oompa Loompa things that we've been working on. Um, and then after that, hopefully, Gabriel will get done with his entire audition thing that he's working on. Um, he's, he's fully, he's like ready. He's totally ready. And like, I swear, these kids never cease to amaze me. I just, I didn't even have to work with him on any of the acting stuff, only making sure that he knew the rhythms and notes and stuff. Um, so, I can't complain. <laughs> Baruch Salt, the little root, has just gone down the rubbish chute. And as we very rightly thought, that in a case like this we ought to see the thing completely through, we've polished off her parents too. Down goes Ruka, down, down the drain! And here perhaps we should explain that she will meet as she descends a rather different set of friends. Some liverwurst, so old and grey, when smelled it from a mile away. A rotten nut, a reeky pear, a thing the cat left on the stair. And lots of other things as well, each with a rather horrid smell. These are Veruca's newfound friends that she will meet as she descends. This is the price she has to pay for going so very far astray. But now, my dears, we think you might be wondering is it really right that every single bit of blame and all the scolding and the shame should fall upon Veruca Salt? Is, is she, she the, the only, only one at fault? For though she's spoiled and dreadfully so, a girl can't spoil herself, you know, who turned her into such a brat. Who, who are, are the cold? Who did that? Who are the culprits? Who did that? Alas, you needn't look so far to find out who these sinners are. They are, and this is very sad, her loving parents, mom and dad. And that is why we're glad they fell into the rubbish chute as well. And that is why we're glad they fell into the rubbish chute as well. <laughs> Perfect. That was well, that was fun. Um, it was. Yeah. <laughs> so, we did not get a grill last night. So, Horatio is still using my little Smoky Joe. And um, he is undecided exactly what he wants to do. Because he really wants to see if we can get a natural gas line. Um he thinks there might be one that's capped out there. Um, and so then we could have a grill that has a natural gas line to it. And that's what we had at our other house. We had never had anything like that before. And having it was just like super nice. It was Especially during quarantine. It was so convenient. Oh my goodness. It was just, it was really great. So I think he's going to probably call somebody and see if, if we indeed do have a gas line that's already going out in that area and it's capped because there's something that's capped. And I know that two owners ago for this house, they had a hot tub because there's a hot tub pad over there. Um, and we're never going to have a hot tub. So um, I'm oh, just wondering. Really want a hot 
it would be nice. But I think that um, it possibly, maybe, maybe there's a gas line out for the heating, the hot tub. I don't really know about hot tubs. So now they're watching like forky shorts or something. And Julian is doing music in the music room with my parents. He's learning a brand new song, brand new, like he's never done it before. We are about to go on a family bike ride. Horatio has um, tinkered with the brakes on my bike because the last time I had my bike out, for some reason, the, the brakes were not uh, cooperating with me. So now I'm going to go on a bike ride. They're playing some game where Ethan has to swerve around. Beautiful sunset. Beautiful. We made it back. My brakes worked, thankfully. And um, we got home before it was completely dark so that's good um so now i'm just kind of sitting here relaxing i am thinking this is my final clip because um we have to go over some more charlie and the chocolate factory um dialogue before it's bedtime and also i have to have the boys sing the national anthems because this is the week that they perform at that baseball game. So, um, I mean, I have no fear of them forgetting their parts or anything, but I should probably have them sing it every day. So, until tomorrow.